friends, my name is Justice. Today I'll be showing you how to set up Kibana alerting system. This is done for the ELK stack and the ELK stands for Elastic Search Log Stash Kibana. Kibana is the component that is responsible for creating visualizations. So if I want to create dashboards or charts, then I have to use the Kibana component. Now you may be asking what is the essence of creating alerting systems on Kibana? The essence is that some users may be interested in knowing when something happens on the dashboard so you have to send them notifications or you have to create some systems on kibana to send them notifications now the alerting system is available on later versions of kibana for example i'm using version 7.10.1 so let's just go ahead and demonstrate how this can be set up now, if you look at this place, I already have some alerts that I've created, but let's just create a new one. So I'll click on this create alert and I have to give a name to the alert and uh, that I want to create. So I'll just say just analytics, just analytics, temperature alerts, for example. And we have to give some tags. This is optional. So I'll just say temp uh slack so we can just leave it on that now we can uh, enter the duration that we want this a uh, uh, this a uh, alert to check what is happening on the dashboard so i'll just say check it every five minutes and notify me every five minutes now we have some trigger types to select we have index threshold and so on and so forth but let's just go ahead and use this index threshold so here you have to select the index that you want to use so i'll just use tmt data all right so this is the index that i want to use and i also have to specify the time field here i will be using the timestamp as my time field all right so that is what we have now when what happens so here by default we have count but i'll be using the maximum so when maximum of what we have to select the field and the temperature field here is named data so when the maximum of this temperature over all the documents and remember you can also select maybe top of your uh, document but uh, we are using the uh, entire document here so all the document all right so this is okay now the next thing we have to do is to define the condition so when the maximum of this column temperature is above what so here we can also select below or whatever but we are using above so when it is above one i want to be notified and for the last or for the last five minutes for example and i'll just leave it at that all right so this is actually what uh, we've done we've set condition and for the action type it is possible for us to be notified via email via uh, other uh, platforms and what we'll be using here is just the slack all right so we have to uh, specify the connector that this alert will be attached to and we already have high temperature slack alert connector but let us create a new one so i'll just click on add new and here we can give it a name so let's just say just analytics connector okay so this is what we have now you have to enter the webhook url and to do that you have to generate uh, the url from this link so i'll just click here i'll i'll paste this uh, url on the description box so from here now you can see that this is where we can configure the slack uh, account i already have a slack workspace that i want to use so i'll just click on this url and that will take me to my slack uh, a workspace so you can see here that we have just analytics as the name of the slack workspace and if you click on this arrow you can see other workspaces that you can use but i want to use this these these are the workspaces that i also belong to all right so 
this is where we are the first thing we have to do is to select the channel or an individual to be notified when uh, the temperature is more than one degree just as we've indicated so if i use just analytics for example this is just a person not a channel all right but if you want to use this alerting system channel you can use it if you want to use general or any other thing you want to use but i want to notify just analytics when the temperature is more than one degrees now you have to click on this add incoming web hooks um, integration so i'll just click on this and when that is done you can see some settings that you have to uh, go through and set uh, that i mean the way it suits your your uh, notification so what i'll do here is to copy this url this is the webhook url that we are expected to get and then i will also name this this is incoming webhook but i'll just customize it as a high temperature a high temperature all right so this is what i uh, want the the username that this integration will post as all right so i can decide to upload an image i'll do say choose an emoji but i don't want to do that so i'll just go ahead and save this so when that as that is loading i'll just come back here and then paste the url that i copied from there and then save it all right so this is what we have done you can see here that it has automatically selected just analytics a uh, connector which we just configured now so what we can do is to add a message so what will happen when this um, this thing is when this uh, temperature is out of range or when it is above one and to do that we we'll just uh, let me just quickly do something all right so i'll just go ahead and uh, because i want to use the uh, the url of the all of the of the of the dashboard so i'll just come here and uh, select this uh, okay edit i want to copy the dashboard url so i'll just copy this message exactly the way it is there so i'll just copy it from here you can see that i specified the url of the dashboard and i'll just show you more about this how it will appear so i'll just go ahead and save all right so this is what we have you can see the name of the alert that we just created so let's just go to connectors and uh, see how this works okay so i'll click on test paste the this message and draw okay so this is successful so we'll just go to stack and we can see the notification temperature has gone outside the normal range click here for details this is the link to the uh, dashboard and if we look at the dashboard we can see the temperature chart and basically whenever the temperature goes beyond one it notifies us that the temperature has gone outside range basically this is what i wanted to show us thank you so much for watching this video please like it and subscribe to my channel thank you